So this is a better example. What I've done here, the back is tapered, the front is tapered, and the two sides are tapered. Now, when I hammer this in, the bark there is going to split apart and it's going to expose that little bud there. I only leave another bud on top. A two bud graft is all you need. And it's going to be a lot stronger that way. If you have three, four, five, you're not going to get anywhere because all those buds want to burst and it's going to drain too much energy from this graft. So I'm going to proceed to hammer this in and it's going to look just like this when it's done. And there will be cracks, but that's when you put the grafting paste in. And as you can see, it's pretty flush with that living tissue. And if you can see there, do you see that thick tissue there? That's all living wood all along there. And that's going to come into contact with all those tapered edges. So that's how you do a rind graft on a large, large